Welcome to this tutorial for calculating the angles of a triangle. You could do with good addition and subtraction skills and understanding the different types of a triangle. But if you're ready to go, let's go. 180 degrees, that's your magic number. It doesn't matter what the triangle looks like, it doesn't matter if it's a, a scaling triangle or an isosceles triangle or an equilateral triangle. All three of the angles, angles A, B and C on this diagram, will always equal 180 degrees. If you've got that, this should be fairly straightforward. Let's start with the scaling triangle. We already know two of its angles. One's 100 degrees and one's 20 degrees. Remember all the time that we need to make sure that all three angles make 180 degrees. And sh should be quite straightforward to see that if I had 120, that makes 120. That means that the final angle must equal 60 degrees. Because 100 plus 60 plus 20 gives us that 180 degrees. A little more in addition is needed to work out this angle. I've got 55 degrees and I've got 35 degrees. If I add the two up, that will give me 90 degrees. And that means that this angle, although it doesn't look like it, is actually 90 degrees too. I think this is a good time to show you. If you ever see uh, a, a drawing that says not to scale, it means that there's no point either using a ruler or a protractor to measure it because it's not going to be accurate. So according to this, that 90 degree angle, which we know doesn't look like 90 degrees, is what's missing here. Of course, it's easy to add multiples of 10 and even multiples of 5 up, but when you've got 132 and 37 degrees, the addition's not too bad. I mean, we know that that makes 169 degrees. And we just need to count up to 180 degrees to find this angle here. If I count up from 169 to 180, that gives us 11 degrees. Add the three together and you'll get that 180 degree total. So pause this video now and try to fill in the missing angles for each of these triangles. Take particular note of this angle here. Because it's a square, you should know what it's worth, even though the number's not there. Away you go. Here are your answers. If you found you've got some of them wrong, have another check of your additions and your subtractions. Now we'll just quickly look at finding uh, the angles of an isosceles triangle. Now if you remember that isosceles means that it's got two congruent lengths of the triangle and it's got two congruent angles. And I think of isosceles, you've got two eyes, isosceles, so on and so forth. Um, and you can see on the diagram that the, the top angle might be will be one number and the two bottom angles will be the same. So 70 degrees and 70 degrees would be at the bottom. So when I look at this isosceles triangle, the top angle is 20 degrees. So if I take that away from the 180 that makes uh, that is made with all three angles, I'll be left with 160 degrees. So I know that the B and the B equals 160, and all I need to do is have that 160 to find one of the Bs. So each B, if I have 16, makes 8, so have 160, leaves me with 80 degrees for each of these angles. Here's another one, I've got 120 degrees at the top, if I take that away, I'll have 60 degrees to make these two angles. And all I need to do is divide that by 2 to give me 30 degrees. And I'll know that this angle is worth 30 degrees, and this angle is also worth 30 degrees. So now, pause this video one more time, and use your knowledge of isosceles triangles to work out the missing angles for each of these triangles. Best of luck! And here are your final set of answers. Uh, so for B, we've got 10 degrees at the top, so the two angles B must equal 170 altogether. You just have to halve that to 85 degrees to work out that each of B is worth 85 degrees. And the bottom one for D, you've got the top angle is a right angle, because it's shown as a square, so that's 90 degrees, which means that angles D must both add up to 90 degrees, so half of 90 is 45. And that is that. As long as you remember that 180 degrees make the three angles inside any triangle, then you should have no problems working out any missing angles that you're confronted with. Well done!